Hello everyone, this is Game Trooper 118 and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. Okay, let's proceed up this mountain that no one's ever gotten to the top of so we can do this ritual. Let's say there is never a time for an ambush, this would be the perfect place. And I like how my sister, our weapons are ice. With this dude, our weapons are electricity. It's kind of interesting change. Seriously, have a giant rock to push up here. This is just the easy part of this, I'm gonna assume. So the keeper finally found someone to take you from here. Huh. Yes. Then finish your task quickly, human. We cannot be rid of this one too soon. Hmm. I'm sensing a story here. I have made my choice. And I will save our clan whatever you think. Oh. Nice mountain you got. Sundermount seems very mountainous today, doesn't it? Lots of rock and hillside. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Let's go. We should hurry. I'm just gonna thank the fact that you kind of look like one of the people from Avatar, the, the one with the blue-looking candle. So, that Avatar, not Avatar the Last Airbender. Ah! I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. Is there anything I can do to help? It's kind of you to ask. I'm fine. Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, I must see this through. Let's go. Asha Belanar isn't known for her patience. Oh, well, I don't want to see that. Why? Camera back like this. There. I kind of figured. What are they fighting? Giant fight. And more. does not rust. Many fish are easily seen in the That's a 
Varric's in trouble. Oh, I got them off your tail. Now they're on my tail. What the hell? I'm about to die. Ah, uh, too late. You need a healing potion. Take whatever spoils we collected from your plan. Hopefully it can be more healing potions. I can open the way forward. One moment. Blood magic? Blood magic? Foolish. Very foolish. Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? It did help. The barrier is gone, certainly. Nobody ever denied that blood magic was useful. Thank you. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. You speak as if you've In the been days here of Arlathon. The elders came here to sleep. Uthanara. The endless dream, they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully anymore. Right. Deep 
Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. Looks like a bunch of archers, which is no problem. The real problem is this arcane core. Where'd it go? one target. What? It's Lemon. Ah, and here we are. Which? It's all right, Fenris. She means us no harm. Under Anatishian Ashabalana. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? Probably not. I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. I agreed to deliver the amulet. You could have told me you were inside it. Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. You are no simple witch. Figured that out yourself, did you? I have seen powerful mages, spirits, and abominations, but you are none of those things. What are you? Such a curious lad. The chains are broken, but are you truly free? You see a great deal. I am a fly in the ointment. I am a whisper in the shadows. I am also an old, old woman. More than that, you need not know. Who is Is that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. Why did you need me to bring you here? Because I had an appointment to keep. And because I did not want to be followed. You smuggled me here quite nicely. Uh huh. I don't understand. Are you some kind of vision? <laughs> Must I be in only one place? Bodies are such limiting things. I am but a fragment cast adrift from the whole. A bit of flotsam to cling to in the storm. What? A fragment. 
You do not need to understand, child. Know only that you may have saved my life, just as I once saved yours. And even trade, I think. Oh, so this is what would have happened if I actually managed to actually kill her. So if I had actually killed her... This would have happened anyway. So, okay. You have plans, I take it. Destiny awaits us both, dear girl. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. Uh -huh. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. What do you mean? What should I do? Do as I do. Become a dragon. What? <laughs> you could never be a dragon. Ah! As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Master Ranus Ashabellinar. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks and my sympathy. I imagine there's probably some dialogue myths by brought the original people of the Tsar with me. Is my sister and Aveline. Oh, is that a trillium? I love trilliums. Beautiful flowers. They smell a bit like garbage, though. Very sad. Okay, I guess we go back down the mountain. Saranus child, your debt is paid in full. It isn't too late to change your mind, Dalen. Darath Shiral, Keeper. I'm ready. Let's depart. Alright. I have three mages to call upon now. Why do I have so many mages? I have two warriors, two rogues. One being myself. Elganar. Is this... Is this really where the elves live? Yes, this is it. Not Damn. the prettiest part of Kirkwall, but it doesn't have a view of the giant chains. Take what you can get. I didn't think it would be so... So... I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. Think of it as an adventure. Working your way up will be fun. All right, that was a lie. It won't be fun. Some adventurer I am. Barely set out and I'm already daunted. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. I'd like that, Meryl. Thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. So you're not coming with me in my travels? You are coming with me in my travels. I wish it would let you have a fifth. Because I would... It's your fuck check. Good Jeez. to see you again, my dear. How is your wife doing? Still recovering? The weakness comes and goes, but I'm hoping for the best. Please Thank you for asking. Ask. He won't go to the circle, will he? But it's the only place. 
Madam, we'll do our best to find your son. But I cannot guarantee his safety if he continues to resist Templar jurisdiction. Hmm. He's just a boy. He's an apostate. I am sorry for your loss, mistress. But I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. Can we help this woman? This could be mother. <laughs> it sounds like your son is in trouble. Is there anything I can do? You... You heard all of that and still you would help? Of course. An apostate? Oh, thank you. I am Ariane. My boy, Fainriel. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares. Dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. I mean, that's nice. What kind of dreams is he having? He dreams of demons calling to him. Pulling him into their world. Every day, it grows harder to wake him. That is why I turn to the Circle. They are the only ones that can protect a mage from his own powers. Did your son run away? He learned I had contacted Sir Thrask. He felt I... betrayed his trust. He thinks he can live free of the Circle. But I am afraid without proper training, he'll kill himself. Or become possessed. And those look like Dalish tattoos. Why do you live in the city? I was born to the Dalish, but came to Kirkwall for a time and dallied with a human merchant, Vincento. When I found I was with child, neither Vincento nor my tribe wished the burden of an elf blooded human infant. I raised Fainriel myself, here in the alienage. Tell me the whole story. I learned years ago that my son likely had magical talent, but we could not bear the thought of him locked in the gallows. So we hid. When the nightmares began, Fainriel still refused to contact the Circle. But I... I truly think they are the only people who might save his life. What exactly do you need me to do? Just find him, please. Bring him somewhere safe. I don't know where Fainriel has gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainriel's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainriel might have sought him out. Tell me about this Templar. I believe he's a good man. He doesn't hate mages, but sees what it took me too long to realize. Even the best-intentioned mages are at the mercy of their sleeping minds. There are other Templars who are much less sympathetic. Yeah, there are. You and Fainriel's father are not married. Vincento had no desire for a wife or an elf-blooded child. I haven't seen him since the day I told him. Hmm. I have written, though, to keep him informed about his child. Fainriel wanted to meet him. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. Magic can be a fearful gift. Your son deserves the best aid learning how to manage it. Don't coddle this boy. If he is a mage, he's dangerous and belongs in the circle. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. Why, hello there. I suppose you've heard of any work. Not yet. Shem oversees. So, where's your beard, elf? Elves don't grow beards. Huh. I thought maybe you shaved it off in a fit of broody peak. So, you're a funny dwarf. Greetings, my lady. You look like a woman who would appreciate the finest rubies from Antiva, raising her lovely neck. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the three marches. One of my companions and merchants from Antiva. 
Actually, I'm more interested in your son. My lady, I'm a bachelor. I've never met a woman of sufficient beauty and charm to tie Vincento down. <laughs> Please, Sarah. I know you must fear for Fainriel, but we mean him no harm. <laughs> Hard to tell in this city who means who harm, no? Perhaps you can set his mind at ease. We are no Templars, Sarah. You'll find no better friend to a young scared mage. Maldición, you are a mage. I suppose you'd be kind then to a boy who resists being taken in by Templars? Of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, evidently so. The boy is in over his head. So why send him to the only man I know who doesn't despise mages? A former Templar named Samson. Why would a Templar help him? His conscience plagues him. Having served the Templars too long, he now helps mages on the run. He stays out of sight during the day. At night, he stays near Darktown. That's the best place to find him. Have our heading. trying to claim the streets. If you make them safe to travel at night, someone will reward you.
Holy crap. Old Vincento said someone might come sniffing around. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now, there's not much I can do for you. I'm looking for a retired Templar named Samson. <sighs> retired? Sounds better than burned out husk of a Templar begging coins in the choke dam. They don't do anything to keep you, you know. You join the order, you're free to walk away. But they're the only ones who got the dust. What? The dust? Lyrium, an ore the dwarves mine. Magic in its raw form. You need to drink the stuff to face down the magickers. Problem is, if you ever try to stop, oh, just about kills you. Damn. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Mm. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? Did you meet the boy? Afraid so. Blighter was dead broke though, not a silver on him. I helped one mageling for free, and I'll never get paid again. You abandoned him? I pointed him to a ship captain I know, Rayner. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week, girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. Where is he now? Please tell me it's not too late to save him. Rumor has it Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse, somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse. Right. Outside. Death. 
glad we will pick this story right back up again as I remember. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Sorry I had to cut it short. But remember to like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. And be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when my next video is up. That's so much. I'm a Game Trooper 1138. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!